Picking up a new car is always an exciting experience, especially when you get these. You've done all the legwork, you've read the brochures, done the test drive and even picked the colour. But you only get to know your car when you take it home. Fortunately, every Mitsubishi is packed full of technology to help make each journey a pleasure and your life just that little bit easier. So I'm going to take you through some of the key features you'll want to know when you pick up your car. Over the years, small changes have made a big difference to both drivers and their passengers, from the introduction of electric windows to air conditioning. In fact, the more observant among you will have noticed that I unlocked this car without using a key. And that's because many of Mitsubishi's new cars, including the Eclipse Cross, have keyless operation. Good day. Eh? As long as you have your key on you, sensors around the car detect your presence and automatically unlock the doors and boot for you when you use the handle, so there's no fiddling around for the key when you have other things to deal with. But that's not the only trick. You won't be needing an ignition key, because this start and stop button will do the job. It's all done with the press of a button, easy and hassle-free. Keyless operation is another great example of a sophisticated system. With all this great technology, you're going to wonder how you ever coped without it. Now here's another useful feature, automatic wipers. There's basically a sensor up here that can detect when drops of rain fall on your windscreen and the wipers are activated for you. And you can adjust the sensitivity by twisting this control on the wiper stalk. It's a bit weird at first when rain comes and you don't press anything or do anything and the wipers just start up for you. But once you get used to it, it's really cool having your own weather detection system. Oh, now here's the typical situation. I'm just stopping off for some petrol. But which side is my fuel cap situated? We'll have a closer look here and you'll see a little arrow next to the fuel pump icon. Whichever way that points is the side your fuel cap is located. Simple, but very useful. Oh, and Mitsubishi fuel cap releases are nearly always down the side of the seat here. It might seem a small thing, but you'll be surprised how many people can't find it. So I am all tanked up on petrol, and now it's time for a spot of shopping, I think. Nothing wrong with a bit of retail therapy every now and then, but parking can be a pain. Right, so I'm at the shopping centre, time to park. Now, most of us are aware of parking sensors and rear cameras, but this car goes one step further. There are cameras and sensors around the car that produce a bird's eye view of your surroundings, so you can see exactly where your car is relative to the other cars around you. It's really, really a clever bit of kit for a reverse park, and once you don't have it, you really miss it. Here's another good tip for you. Usually when you leave your car, your interior alarm sensors are activated, but that's no good if you want to leave the dog in the back for a few minutes or you want to leave your windows down. So get your right stalk and push it up until you hear the beep. There it is. And then you know it's deactivated. Time now for some purchases. Ah, oh, that sound tells me I've left my handbag in the car. So you see, you can't lock your car keys inside. But now, situation remedied. I know the immobilizer's kicked in, the alarm is on, the car is locked and I'm good to go. And I know that because my wing mirrors have retracted. Flat tire, don't you just hate it when that happens? Even new cars can get flat tires from debris on the road. So it's good to know where everything is in your car. Nowadays, spare tyres are being phased out and that's to keep curb weight low and for improved economy and fuel emissions. So in the back of your car, you've got an inflation repair kit, which comes with some sealant so you can repair the hole and of course a pump so you can inflate the tyre. These kits can deal with small repairs effectively, but for larger repairs, you can call Mitsubishi assistants who will arrange the repair for you. You can find their number here. Congratulations, you're now part of the Mitsubishi family. You've made a great choice with your car and if you've got any queries, do not hesitate to get in touch with your dealer. And until next time, it's goodbye. Oh, before I forget, one extra tip. Make sure your lights are set to auto so that your automatic lights do the work for you. Drive your ambition, Mitsubishi Motors.